Hey guys, um, today I got in the mail, if you've seen my vlog, you probably should go check it out first, because you probably don't know what I'm talking about. This is the last vlog I've done, if you look in the YouTube order. I got a very cool friend in the mail today. We have Getaway Power Master. Woo! Um, I have been waiting for this dude for so long. Um, love him. He's awesome. Now, no Power Master, no gun, no nothing. Just the figure. Because I love buying old junkers off eBay. I saw this dude on a website that I buy Transformers from. And I knew uh, he, he's very yellowed. Um, and he's, his stickers are all scratched up and stuff. And glued very awkwardly in some places. But, uh, yeah. I looked at him and I said, you know what? If there's any collector who could give him a home, it's me. Because I have many reject G1 toys in terrible condition. So... I picked him up for ten bucks, and I said, "What is? I I just I picked him up." Um, I always loved Getaway. Um, when I started looking at Power Masters, I just I knew I had to get one of them. I was very disappointed at the eBay prices because they're ridiculous. They are. So I just said, "You know what?" I looked at my website where I buy my Transformers. They had one there for ten dollars. That's compared to most eBay prices for one like this. They want like twenty. So I was like, let's do it. He has no Power Master at all, but you can still transform. No gun. But, uh, still like him, and I'm very happy with him. He's turned out everything that I've wanted him to be, so. And even more in some ways. So, he's a pretty cool toy. I do like him. Uh, in this review, I'm going to talk a little bit more about the character. You can go visit the second channel for a more in-depth review if I do one, but. He is a pretty cool toy. I like him a lot. Um, he just, well, I guess we can talk a little bit about his character, so. Uh, he never appeared in the G1 cartoon. Um, as you know, he, uh, was a little late. <laughs> I think 88 is when this guy came out. I might be wrong. I think it's 88. Let's just take a peek under your hood. 87, yeah. Close enough. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. I don't think he was released till 88, though. Um, I think that, uh, they put, they said that they were, um, 1987 toys, but I, I guess not. So, yeah, he's a pretty cool little character. So he is in the comic, um, what is it? Um, uh, I didn't want to write it down, but yeah, Lost Light, yeah, that's what it is. He's in the, um, he just recently is in the More Than Meets the Eye comic Lost Light. Awesome, um, animation model for him is, well, not the animation model, but the, uh, Comic model form is awesome. He's cool in that um, comic. You should go check it out. He's awesome. He is a... He's worthy of the name Getaway, let's say. Yeah. He's a very cool toy um, a character, I mean. He, uh, he's, he's kind of a... He's, he's a very good fighter, let's say that. Um, he doesn't really have a, much of a character in Lost Light, but he is there for a little bit, and he's kind of cool. So, go check out Lost Light. Awesome comic book. So, um... What, what was I going to say? Yes, yeah, so. Um, he's also in the Generation 1 card, uh, comic book run. UK only, I think. Um, if you remember that comic series, if I can't recall what it's called, but there's a series where Bludgeon and uh, Prowl and Grimlock have, like, the Decepticon, Autobot Alliance, while Cybertron's, like, falling apart. And uh, this guy is on the planet that Bludgeon and his troops invade because he's trying to protect them or something. I might be messed up on this, but I think that's what he is. And you see him standing there, and he gets blasted by Darkwing and Dreadwind. And, uh, he is brought back to life later, so. Anyway, um, let's look at the toy. He's not bad in this mode. I do, I love his face. The face is awesome. Um, very cool face, so. He does have some nice posability, too. Um, arms go out. I don't think they come forward, but, yeah, his arms don't come forward. But he does have a little swivel there, um, and no hand articulation. Head can go, kind of go like, a -dee 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 -dee. Yeah, <laughs> he can hide inside of himself if he's embarrassed, like, oh, <laughs> yeah, he's pretty cool. I love the colors on Getaway, he's so cool, the red and the blue and the white, it, I dig it, it's so cool, and I love the big racing right there, it's awesome, awesome. So, He's pretty cool, he's pretty poseable, um, leg articulation is non-existent, as with most G1 toys, but he does have a waist a little. Yeah! So, I'm going to attempt to try to put him into car mode for you guys, so we're going to... 
And by attempt, please, please re recognize that I'm saying attempt. So, <laughs> he's a very nasty little bugger to transform because he's got a bunch of s springs and stuff in him, and he's a man. Is he a pain? Ever a pain to do? Um, hold on, wait. Yeah, he's kind of a pain, but he he's still a cool toy. Um, come on, let's go. Come on, get away. Let's show him how well you can transform, shall we? Please? Thank you. The only part that I really have a problem with is turning this windshield around. It's just very, very hard to do tight. It's on like a spring. Yeah. It took me a while to figure out how to do it, but I finally did get it. These feet go in. I always forget about those pieces, but there we go. Ooh, that's tight. And there we go. Oh, success. Yay. Mm -hmm. So he does turn into a Honda X7 or something like that. Yeah, but pretty big. Jeez. I, I didn't know how big he was going to be when I first like saw him on the images and stuff. I was like, man, he's probably going to be tiny. Like that's It's like kind of the reaction when I learned how small the junior target masters and headmasters were. I was like, wow, they are tiny. I never realized how big this dude was. I was like, wow, I thought he was going to be a lot smaller. Like, that less. Yeah. I was wrong. And when I got this dude out of the box, which a couple minutes ago, uh, I was very surprised with him. So, he is awesome. I love the racing stripes there. They're so cool. And um, I love the racing thing again. The red windshields are awesome too, even though the paint's scratched up on there, I know. But it, I kind of like the look of that though. It's kind of like a blue turquoise scrape stuff. It's cool. It looks awesome. So, I like him. Shows he's got some war scars from childhood play. Hmm. Ooh, is he a bit dusty under the spoiler? Ooh. I just looked over there, I was like, wow, I'm gonna have to clean this dude. I'm probably gonna polish him up. He's a bit yellow in some places, but not as yellow as I thought he was gonna be, so. Bravo, bravo. Um, so yeah, as I said before, getaway, he's he's not he's not they're not he's not a great power master, but he's a good one. He's a good one to get. Um Obviously not going to be as great as the Decepticon Jets, um, Power Masters, those are awesome, but this guy comes pretty close. Out of Joyride and Slap ja um, Slapdash and this guy, I think I like Getaway the most. I really like Joyride and Slapdash, but I have to say I like this one a lot. Um, I don't know why, I just like his car mode and I love the yellow face and he's awesome, he's cool. Um, yeah, so I, I don't know. I do like him a lot. He's a cool toy. Um, very nice car mode. Rolls great. He's an awesome toy. So if you have any doubts about buying this dude, buy him. He is an awesome, 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 awesome toy. Awesome. So <laughs> I'll see you guys in another video. I'll have more G1 toys up because I just got quick too, so we will be doing that soon. And I'll see you guys in another review.